the end of March 2020, just a few short weeks after thousands of visitors thronged to the city for Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras Festival, Australian governments implemented wide sweeping lockdowns, restrictions and border quarantine across the nation in response to the looming COVID-19 pandemic. This included closure of bars and clubs, with restaurants and cafes restricted to takeaway and delivery only, and other businesses closed or restricted in their operations. The impact was immediate on the busiest entertainment precinct in Australia, the Gold Mile, Roxa Street, Darlinghurst and its surrounds, leaving deserted streets but for birds and delivery riders, where just weeks before hundreds of thousands packed together to watch the Mardi Gras parade. I set out to chronicle the closed venues and businesses for a photographic project I called Darlinghurst Lives. A few weeks later, incorporating before and after images from each business, social media advertising was created, with details on how people could still engage, including virtual performances, online delivery and COVID safe changes. This was done with the generous support of the City of Sydney Council under the COVID-19 Small Grant Scheme and the Darlinghurst Business Partnership. This initial video incorporates images from businesses and around Sydney, including parks and galleries and street photography, shot from March to June when the restrictions began to be relaxed as coronavirus case numbers continued to drop. The venue photos were taken around midnight when they would ordinarily be at their busiest, many with queues down the street that were now only populated with hungry seagulls.